Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at three new figures from Series 2 of the World of Halo line of figures from Wicked Cool Toys. We have the UNSC Marine with Sniper Rifle, the Grunt Conscript with Mangler and Disruptor, and the Spartan Air Assault with Needler. So these are three new figures from Series 2, and it's actually kind of neat. On the back of the packaging now, they do actually show all the figures in this wave, uh, instead of just that picture of Master Chief running, so I guess they're actually listening to us. I've always said that instead of having that same picture on the back, show us what else is available. So these are the three that we're taking a look at today. Now there's another Master Chief. I decided not to pick that up because I have like four already. There's a Elite here, but I believe it's exactly the same one as came, comes with the Ghost that I already reviewed, so I decided to pass on that as well. And then there's this little Sentinel drone. I don't know. It, it just didn't speak to me. Um... I don't know, apparently I've been told it's in a bunch of the games, I just don't remember it at all, it didn't look that exciting, so I just decided to pass on it, but I'm really excited for these three. Uh, we get another Marine, but we get a Sniper Rifle, which I'm excited about, and we have had a Grunt previously, but this is at least a different color scheme. The one we had previously, I think, had like a yellowish-orange backpack, and then we get another Spartan. I'm all for more Spartans, you know, just give us all these different Spartans, I think they're a lot of fun, and uh, Wicked Cool Toys makes really nice figures here, so I'm excited. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these three out of the box, and then we're going to take a closer look. So here are the three figures out of the packaging. We'll start over here with the Marine. They all come with these bases, which are really nice. They peg in very easily, and they have kind of a hexagon pattern so that they can link into each other. Uh, they don't really link like three next to each other, but you can kind of link them in a string, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Uh, but anyway, here is the Marine. He looks great. Really nice detail. The camo, I think, looks really, really good. He's got some accessories, like the knife and the gun and the holster over here. You can't actually remove them, but they look cool. Just kind of, you know, fills out his uh, uniform, which I think looks really cool. He's got the giant sniper rifle, which can peg into his back, which I appreciate. We'll look at that a little bit more in a moment. Uh, just really nice detail. Like I said, paint applications, all really sharp. Articulation, you have the head can uh, move back and forth on a hinge. And also has a swivel side to side. You have a hinge in the shoulder as well as a rotation. Then you have a rotation and hinge in the elbow and a rotation and hinge in the wrist. You have kind of an abdomen, uh, not quite a ball joint, but you can certainly get some side to side movement out of that. A little bit of front and back as well. Ball joint in the hip, thigh swivel, double jointed knees. And then you have a Hinge and ankle rock back and forth. So he's got a ton of articulation. Just overall really nice figure. So let's get back to this sniper rifle. Really nicely molded. Nicely detailed as well. It has the stand so these can swing down. So you can position it. Which I think is pretty cool. Nice detail there. And then they just kind of swing back up. They don't peg into place or anything against the gun, but they just kind of just kind of push them up here. They're getting a little loose, unfortunately, uh, the more I use them, but they can still hang up there. And then it can fit in his hand. It's a little difficult to get in the hand, but it can be done. There we go. Uh, it's not 100% in, but because he's got this thumb that's kind of bent backwards, so you kind of have to bend that back a little bit. So let me see if I can bend that back and then put this where it needs to go. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a trigger finger. And that thumb really isn't wanting to cooperate. There we go. Got it in there. See, once you get it in there, it holds pretty well. So that's good. You can also try to bring this in and see if I can get the other hand in here underneath a little difficult to accomplish but I feel like it's definitely possible well I'm not gonna bend it but it's definitely possible to get pretty close if I bring this in eh, maybe not quite possible but still looks good and I really appreciate that it can peg onto his back but you can see what I mean now how these things are the struts are starting to get a little bit loose there we go, now they're holding on there. Overall, I still think it's a really cool figure. Really nice detail, nice articulation. And I love that you can have the weapons peg onto the back. I think that's a big deal. 
Actually, you know what? I'll leave them off the stands for now because I want to show off that detail with pegging the stands together in a moment. So hopefully he'll just cooperate and stand. There we go. Okay, so next we'll move on to the grunt. And I'll show you what I mean with these. So the way they work is you can peg them in like this and they'll peg in together. But you can't really get a third one in here because the way these work is you kind of have to like have them fold on top so that they interlock and that's kind of impossible to do with a third one because you can't like fold these individually so unfortunately you can't make like a battlefield i was really hoping you could get a bunch of these and put them all together to make like a battlefield display and then you could peg the characters in at various places throughout the battlefield but because of the way they hook into each other it's kind of impossible there's no way to get a third one in here i mean the only option would be to cut some of these off and then just kind of peg them in around and hope that they all eventually hold each other together. Um, which I guess you could probably do. Wouldn't be too difficult, but it's just a shame. I wish they had, you know, thought about this. Maybe only put these on the th on every other one or something like that. Just so that they didn't all have to lock together so tight. Because, I mean, they stay together. That's not the problem. It's just you can't, you can't put three of them together, which is a bummer. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put these guys back on their stands. I appreciate that they all come with a stand though because it really does make a difference if you want to make a display. I love that they all come with their own stands because once you peg them in they're not going anywhere so that's really awesome. Uh, so let's take a look at the grunt. I think he looks fantastic. Again, paint uh, and detail. Just the molded detail. Really sharp. I mean the mask and everything looks really good. He's got a giant uh, joint here in his neck. For the hinge and then he's also got a side to side swivel and then he's got the two tiniest little joints here for his shoulder and elbow uh, but they are hinges you can see they have hinges and rotations same thing in the elbow it's a very tiny joint but it does have a hinge and a rotation then he's got this massive forearm and then he's got his wrist joint which is also a hinge and a rotation and that's a bigger joint than either his shoulder or his elbow which is weird to me but and then here are the two guns. I think they look pretty good. He doesn't hold them magnificently, but he holds them well enough. Then he's got a little waist swivel here. And then he's got tiny ball joints in the hips. And then he's got double jointed knees. Although I gotta be honest, because of his kind of squat nature, you don't have a ton of range of motion there. It's not a lot. And then you have a huge joint down here for his ankle, so you can do... A nice ratcheted click forward and then you have it rock back and forth so just kind of funny that his wrists and his ankles are his biggest joints and his neck and then his shoulders and elbows and hips and knees are kind of tiny but i love the color scheme i think the blue really looks sharp kind of has a metallic quality to it which i enjoy and just overall i think the design of this grunt is really really cool really enjoying it and I like that they're giving us uh, more aliens if they want to do like reissues, give us different paint schemes just to make it a little different. That way we can build out an army of Covenant, but they'll be at least a little bit different. Or you can have kind of different regiments, like if you want to get a couple blue ones, get a couple orange ones. I think that's really fun. And then last but certainly not least, we have this uh, Air Assault Spartan. And again, I'm not super familiar with the later games, so I'm assuming this guy is from one of them. I'm not really sure why one of his arms is orange. It looks neat, though. I like the design. I think the helmet looks really good. Nice silver paint there for the visor. The orange arm looks cool. It's weird to have all the rest of them in this kind of dark gunmetal gray and then have the one orange arm. Certainly would lose all stealth capabilities, I would think. But he's got a hinge and a rotation in the neck. He's got the hinge and rotation in the shoulder. The shoulder pads him in it, him in it, <laughs> limit it a little bit. Just a bit. Not too bad. And then you have the hinge and rotation in the elbows, hinge and rotation in the wrists. Very similar to the Marine. He's got kind of a more ball joint-esque joint there in the abdomen. And then he's got a ball joint, but it's kind of very limited because of his leg armor. So you cannot really go out that far. Can't go too far forward or back. He does have double jointed knees. He does have a thigh swivel. And then he's got the uh, hinge and 
rock back and forth in the ankle. So like I said, very similar to the Marine. He's got this needler, which I think looks really good. Nice translucent needles on the top. Uh, painted very nicely. Fits in his hand pretty decently. So yeah, I really like this guy a lot. I, I'm definitely excited to collect more Spartans because I want to kind of make an army of different Spartans. I don't need, you know, 15 different Master Chiefs. I want them to have a little bit of variety to them. So I like this guy a lot. Really, I think all three of these are great. Um, they're kind of doing a smart uh, situation where they're giving you more of the same, but they're different enough so that you want to kind of build an army. Like, yes, we've had a bunch of Marines before, but this guy comes with different camo, and he's got the uh, sniper rifles, so he's got different weaponry. That way, if you're trying to build an army of the Marines, you know, you can have, you know, different specialists with the different weapons and everything. Same with the aliens, different color scheme. Maybe you want to build an army of the grunts. And then, of course, just to get a bunch of different Spartan characters to fight them. So I think this is really fun. I definitely recommend picking up all three of these. I think they're about $10 a piece. I got most of these at Target. This one I actually had to get from GameStop because he's kind of hard to find. But GameStop had them on their website. So I would say between uh, Amazon sometimes has them. Target sometimes has them on their website. Target definitely has them in store. I think Walmart even carries them in store as well. So I would definitely check you know, Walmart, Target, Amazon, GameStop. And shouldn't be too hard to track down. But reasonably priced, great articulation, great detail, great paint. Um, just all around really, really nice figures for this scale. I think they do a really nice job. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.